Hello guys. Here I have the best two times eighteen six fifty thrower ever. The Ace Beam T twenty one BM. This is a good light. This is a good light. Nice, decent box. Comes with a pass-through holster, a warranty card that I'm going to toss, a user interface manual, okay, the light itself, some um, silica gel pack. I really, really like Ace Beam nowadays. They, they, they make good stuff, okay. What is in this pouch? Okay, has. One O rings, one rear spell, a spare tail boot, a wrist lanyard ring with that, which is kind of odd. It is kind of small, so I have a small head, so it fits over fine. If you have a bigger head, it's just kind of hard to wear it on your neck. And why would you want to wear such a big light on your neck? I don't understand. But it clips in the back, and it's kind of large it's kind of big for a for a wrist lanyard okay so this thing in my opinion is a little too short for neck and a little too long for wrist you can cut it short easily though no you can't well i guess you can yeah it's not easily you gotta like flip open this little metal tabs here and then shorten it and then i would highly recommend putting super glue into these metal tab so they'll lock tight, okay? So it won't slip out and drop your light. A little retrofitting here and there. Everything needs to be modded. Let's see how good this little pass-through pouch works. Oh, this pouch definitely needs breaking in. So it's perfect. It's a perfect length. You can see here that it fits perfect. However, this is still stiff, so it doesn't really want to bend over. So if, if I were you, I would put, I would, uh, the first thing I would do when I get the light is just let it sit overnight, maybe several nights, um, yeah, like that, so that it will bend the holster into its shape, okay? Velcro in the back here. I really like this type of um, attachment where you have a permanent fix so you can run your belt through without it ever falling out, but a Velcro is also uh, included so that you can easily take it out, okay? But it's a less dirty hold versus the, the sold-on pass-through, right? But I like that you can have both options. Okay, so let's talk about the light itself. Possibly, I'm possibly holding the best build quality light from Ace Beam with all of their, their technology. And it's a very handsome looking light has some knurling, large knurling here, large knurling here. Um, very nice removable um, cigar grip. The shape looks really nice, okay? Uh, it does have excessive prints here, serial number, uh, excessive prints, uh, website on the back, hate that. Um, so it does have some excessive prints, but the body, the CNC body itself and the analyzation feels really good in the hand. It has a really hefty feel to it, so you know it will heat sink very well. Look at how nice that, that little thinness is. I think that's a very nice design. And it has a very thick, very, very thick um, strikeless scallop bezel. Not enough, not tall enough to be striked, but it's nice a scallop bezel. Very thick and is threaded so that you can buy diffuser, color diffuser, uh, color filters, or diffuser uh, twist on. Okay, filters for the, um, not filters, um, you know, those screw on, thread on filters that Ace Beam has been producing to be on, use on their lights. And I think that's very, very cool. It's good for hunting. If you mount this on a rifle and you only want red light, just buy a red filter and slap it on. So, it is a very good looking light. Okay, currently, as you see here, it's, with, it's running two 18650. However, you can run this light with single 18650. So let's talk about numbers, okay? Very, very impressive numbers. The only LED that I'm going to be providing in this light will be the XPG2 S4D Dome. 
No XPL, none of that, okay? The reason I want I want the main focus to be on this line is because it's such a good thrower with the design of the reflector here that it's just, it does it justice with the XPG2 S4 DDOM maximizing the throw. I'll give you guys a moment to take a wild guess how, how much Lux this thing throws, okay? With two times 18650, a power boost to the factory circuit, which drives the LED to the limit, it puts out 900 lumen. Very good output from an XPG2. XPG2 does not get hot at all, especially with this much mass. So you have an incredible amount of output, okay? And throw, and you don't have to worry about heat. That's what I love, I love about XPG2. So 900 lumen is not, it's no slouch. That's 1,000 lumen is good enough for for work for like it's like a real deal amount of output a thousand lumens like the benchmark if you got a thousand lumen you can do any kind of work you want for me okay or for the people that buy my lines for me that's like the benchmark if you make it there you're good to go right so 900 lumen ansi lumen very good but the throw number is surreal i'll give you guys a minute to take a guess while i take a little break It throws 500k lux. That is insane amount of throw, okay? 500k lux, that translates to 1400 lumen, more than 1400 lumen, but for the sake, I'm gonna round it off. 1400 lumen uh, meters of throw. What did I say? I, I, I hope I said 1400 meters of throw. Anyway, 1400 meters of throw, 500k lux from 2 18650. What if you decided that you don't want to run two 18650 and you only want to run one 18650? You can do that too. And the configuration would be shorter. If you if your rifle, if you don't want to be obstructing it, uh, obstructing anything and you want to mount it shorter to your rifle, you can and it'll be shorter. And that's a really nice short compact light if you want. But mm, I like it. I think it looks balanced and it just looks better with two A times 18650. Um, the user interface is really nice. so. Too. So let me demonstrate that. This is the kind of light you just, you don't care about me rambling. Like show me the freaking night, night beam shot kind of a thing. Okay. And you know, even the night beam shot's not going to do this light justice. Turn the light on to turn it on. And then this or pretty cool orange button here, side button, goes through all the different level. And look, it has a really low, 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 low first level. So it's so low, I can look directly at the LED. So that will last you forever and it's really low. So it's um, quite tactical if you ask me. You can read a map nicely or you can, you can like read things around you. If, what, during pitch dark, a sublumen will illuminate way more than you think and doesn't disrupt the piece of your tactical uh, surrounding, all right? For hunting or if you're in a, in a, in a firefight or whatever. It's that low does not disrupt and is good enough to read and maneuver. Yeah, even maneuver. One click up, you get a pretty general purpose and then it goes on from there. The max level is so, the hot spot is so freaking tight and bright. It's just shocking how the, with the relative size of the reflector, you didn't think it can do that. So 500k lux is way more than a K40. K40 puts out 400k lux, okay? Uh, with, an, uh, with an XPL PDT, it puts out only 400k lux. Yeah, it has more lumen, but it's a bigger reflector. Here, you have a smaller reflector and it puts out 500k lux. So it's just surreal how you have a reflector of only that size, okay? And just two 18650 and you put out 500k lux. It throws surreal. The hot spot is so tight, it just gets way out there and it penetrates. You have fog, you have a foggy night, you turn this on, it's like a freaking lightsaber. Very, very good light, good build quality, very easy to use interface. Whatever last mode you last left it on, it will turn on on that mode. And that's pretty cool. It's just simple user interface. That's that. Cycle through the different levels, on and off. Uh, run 
it single. If you run it on single cell only, you lose 25% output. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. 25% less output is not substantial. I know it sounds substantial, but not really. So if you need to run it short, you lose 25% output. Not the end of the world. Still pretty dang bright. Um, it's a good light. I am not a fan of 2 times 18650 light because uh, I don't really mount lights onto rifle. Uh, I have I mount lights onto rifle, but not lights this big because I don't really shoot anything way out there. And I don't patrol, but this is an excellent patrol light. It's a really kind of a nice short, strong baton. But um, so me, I don't really have a use for it. But this is possibly the best two times eighteen six fifty lights in terms of build quality, balance of weight, throw, and everything. The catapult. Uh, V5, I'm selling that on my store. It's even heavier, more substantial than this light. More, way more output, but much less throw. And honestly, I think that light is a tad bit heavy. If I was a patrol guy, I probably wouldn't carry it. So for all the all, all my Leo guys, um, this is the recommended light for throw. I just can't put a little R to the title because I'm biased. Um, I don't think it's a great general purpose light because it's a very dedicated thrower. Um, so it's a kind of a single purpose light. If you're into search and rescue and you really need long run time and you need throw but you don't want the light to overheat, you need turbo all the time, it's a good light for that. So it's a good search and rescue light in terms, in, in that kind of term. It was, it's an excellent patrol light. That's probably the best choice for it. It's a great um, light for a rifle. But for a general purpose, like go with something else. If you have to have twenty six six, I mean, if you have to have two twenty uh, eighteen six fifty long configuration, then the catapult V three is possibly a little better because of the little better throw. And if you really insist having this particular hose, but more flood, then I can put an XPL dome on. But what makes this light impressive is the incredible throw that comes out of this thing. Okay, at five hundred K lux. Very good, nice two times eighteen six fifty light. Possibly, in my opinion, the best two times eighteen six fifty light out there. Better than Surefires, okay. Um, better than anything I can think of, and it's a good looking light. Minus the little excessive prints, just go over it with a black permanent marker and smudge it out a little bit. It looks, it'll look a lot better, and it will be a perfect light. That's a really, really nice 2 times 18650 light. Okay? That will be all. Yep. Yep. So, what other 2 times 2650 light out there? The LD50VN is a 2 times, um, two times 18650 light. But that's not really a thrower, it's kind of a side-by-side -side configuration and there's a lot of other side-by-side -side configuration, 26, uh, 18650, but they don't really throw, okay? They, they're, they're, they're flutters. Any any 2 times 18650 light are flutters compared to this light. The throw on this light is amazing, okay? So, yeah, only a video, will, uh, even a video won't do this light justice, everything's going to be washed out. So like. If I want to make a video on this, I would need to find a really long stretch because the hot spot really, really throw and it stays tight the whole time through. Okay, all right, enough rambling. Thank you very much. Love this light. Although I have no use for it, it's a very nice light. Thank you.